No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest, is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hello, this is Charles Hain. I'm here at the Airy booth at NAB Show 2018, covering for No Film School. I'm here with Michael. Sky Panel, which is a light everybody loves, just came out with a big new revision of the firmware, version 4, big enough that firmware is even news, and Michael's right. going to tell us about it. Michael, what's going on? Yeah, so this is firmware 4. It's our fourth major firmware release since the Sky Panel was launched. And, you know, when we do firmware releases, it's not just minor things or bug fixes. We actually introduce new fi features that really change the way that the fixture could work. So we've got 10 great new features in firmware 4. The biggest one is extended color control. So what that allows you to do is you could pick a color any way that you want, a CCT or a uh, RGBW value or a gel, whatever it might be, and then you can manipulate that color with eight simple controls. So if the DP yells out, yeah, can you add a little bit of red into that? That's what extended color control allows you to do. So you get a little bit of red, you can take away some blue, green, magenta, cyan, yellow. You can make it warmer, cooler. You could desaturate or saturate a color. So with just eight simple controls, you can kind of push and pull the color in any direction that you want, very intuitively and kind of in a very human way. You know, if someone says warm up that light, it might be very difficult to figure out how to do that in HSI mode or in RGBW mode. So you could use this extended color mode and it allows you to move around that, uh, that spectrum really easily. And that's knobs on the panel. Is that Bluetooth control? How is that done? So you could do it in two ways. There's knobs on the panel. So you hold down the mode button for three seconds and it brings up this new, very simple interface with the eight sliders and you just move it around uh, whichever parameter that you want. And we also have a DMX uh, protocol, or actually it's an addition to our DMX protocols, where if you turn that mode on, it'll add eight additional channels to the end of every DMX mode that we have. So very easy to access. So you've got a lot of options for making the light way more customizable in like an intuitive way. Exactly, exactly. That's the whole point of that is, you know, a lot of people say they, they pick a color, but maybe they want just a little bit more yellow out of that color or, you know, it's a little bit too red. So I want to just take a look. So that allows you to do that. The next feature is what we call light engine control through DMX. And so every sky panel is made up of one or more light engines. And these are, you know, about 12 by 12 uh, PCB boards inside the fixture. So the S30 has one, whereas the S360 has 12. So the light engine control allows you to control each of those light engines separately. So it basically turns uh, the S360 into 12 mini S, you know, S30s in one fixture. Uh, so you can have full control over that and, and that allows you to do a lot of very advanced programming. So if you wanted to run a custom effect over the uh, sky panel through DMX, you could do that. If you wanted to pixel map the sky panel, you could do that and run video signal over it and do a lot of really cool things. It just brings a lot more control into the hands of the user. Uh, you could use a program, there's lots of pixel mapping programs out there, run some video over it, and that'll send RGB values to the sky panel through DMX, and you can control that very easily. Uh, an ultimate DMX mode, which allows you to select any of our color modes in one DMX mode. So instead of having to change, so if I'm you know, living in CCT and then I want to access the lighting effect, in the past I would have to change the mode. But now it's all in one mode. So you, if you want to go from CCT to RGBW to lighting effects, you could do that very quickly. Um, we also have four additional lighting effects pre-programmed into the fixture. So we at, in 3.0, we added uh, 12 lighting effects, and now we're adding four more. Um, so we have explosion, which you could kind of mimic like a muzzle flash or, or a fireball or something like that. We have fluorescent flicker, which is what, what it sounds like, so a malfunctioning ballast of a fluorescent tube. Uh, we have a process effect, and then we also have welding. So we have a welding effect as well. Now, can I sync these together? If I rig like eight overhead sky panels, I can program them together as a group for process work? Yeah, absolutely. They're great to do that. And, and you could do that either with our process effect, or if you wanted to create your own process look, you could do it with that light engine control that we were talking about before. 
So there's lots of other things. We have a new web portal built in. So if you connect to the light through Ethernet, we've got a beautiful web portal that allows you to control all of the color, change the fixture settings, a lot of other stuff. And uh, if you want to check out some of this stuff, we also have it on our website. So you go to airy.com slash skypanel firmware 4. And we've got all of those things detailed with a lot of information there. Cool. Michael, this is super exciting. Thank you so much yeah. for taking the time. Thanks for coming by. So this has been Charles Hain for NAB 2018 No Film School.